Unit Twelve. When Confucius Goes Political, September twenty-first. If a school program is just teaching a foreign language, one could hardly argue that the instruction is political. However, with China, things might be different. That's the burning issue behind a recent controversy involving Chinese language learning classes called Confucius Classrooms in New South Wales, NSW, Australia. Several NSW schools are paid at least ten thousand Australian dollars a year by the Chinese government to offer its Chinese language courses, which have been accused of spreading propaganda and restraining freedom of speech. Both Confucius Classrooms. Which are offered to secondary schools and Confucius Institutes, which are established at universities, are part of the same organization. They are financed by the Office of Chinese Language Council International, or Hanban, which is headed by a number of high-ranking Communist Party of China (CPC) officials. The stated objectives of Confucius Institutes and classrooms are to promote Chinese language and facilitate cultural exchanges. In terms of CPC's scheme, however, both are diplomatic tools meant to wield China's soft power internationally. Since 2004, Hanban has cooperated with local colleges and universities around the world, and it aims to establish 1,000 Confucius Institutes globally by 2020. Most criticism of Confucius Institutes and classrooms. Centers on their relationship with the Chinese government. A Politburo member blatantly stated that they are an important part of China's overseas propaganda setup. Hanban intends to justify the establishment of Confucius Institutes and classrooms by comparing them to their Western counterparts, such as the UK's British Council, Germany's Goethe Institute, and France's Alliance Francaise. Nevertheless, these associations are independent from their governments, and they do not spark worries about political interference. Given their dubious reputation, Confucius Institutes have seen increasing resistance from prestigious universities in recent years. France's University of Lyon severed ties with its Confucius Institute in 2013, as did the University of Chicago in 2014. And Sweden's Stockholm University in 2015, to name just a few.